and you'll be surprised to know there's actually no criteria educational criteria for somebody who wants to make a career in commercial operations there's no criteria even a 12th pass can do that hi everyone jai hind jai bharat jai madhya jai got, today we have got captain kunal linyal with another series of ship broking and chartering and the question for today is which are the top ship broking firms of the world hi everyone sorry for barging in between i hope you like the video the question as well as where this video is going please keep watching the video but most important don't forget to go into the description box and go to the complete series watch in detail every video learn as much as possible make your notes and make your future bright jai hind jai bharat jai mata di okay good question so uh, if you talk about the top brokers we can take good names like clarkson's the number one then we have got ho robinson partners then we have got ssy we have got bremar we have got ea gibsons they are among the top most brokers and you'll be surprised to know we have got around 10000 ship brokers working globally which include companies like clarkson's and people who are actually working from home doing ship brokering from the home itself so you mean to say that there is a big company like clarkson now the five major companies that you know where are they located first of all i would all are located in london all are look matlab london aaj bhi that is the center that is the reason i went to london i that knew is. if i want to learn brokering and chartering if i want to actually make my career london is something uh, it is the base is a mark of shipping because we have got boarding exchange out there okay. whole shipping is being controlled from there so a whole shipping is controlled the, yes. that is the place that's right so now you want to say ki bhai around 10000 ship brokers are there few have got their own companies and some are doing on individual basis because they have got better connects even sitting at home absolutely freelancing they are doing freelancing. freelancing yes 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 brokering is something which you can do from anywhere and everywhere even if you are sitting in ladakh and you have got a laptop and you have got internet connection you can be a very good broker there is no point because technically with the advent of technology shipping is something which has actually benefited a lot out of it initially very very long time they used to use telex and all for this brokering but now internet you are so very well connected you don't need to to but yes what you need is that good connection good contacts and ability to do business that's what makes you a good broker so guys these are the top shipping firms now uh, just one question coming again the video is very short so i have to add one more question ki what is better say somebody wants to start a career just a gentle question maybe we'll making specific videos along differently he is a mariner he wants to start a career what is the best way to first of all work in these shipping companies gain experience and then start their own firm or what would you suggest okay okay very good question pranit everybody has this question in their mind so first thing is that very important uh, be your mariner or not you are a plain graduate or whatever you need to gain an insight about what you want to do in your life technically if you want to become a broker you want to join a chartering firm you want to become a uh, join an operating firm you first need to understand what actually brokering and chartering is so first thing is that to get a good degree to do a good course from a good college that's a starting point because what that will do is that it will give you that base which is needed once that is done once you get that base now you will join as an intern with the shipping companies it doesn't makes any difference you are a mariner you are a non mariner it is as good as starting your credit ship as good as starting your credit ship because you are starting from scratch technical shipping has nothing to do with commercial shipping and commercial shipping has nothing to do with technical shipping yes the terminologies can be used the technical terms can be used you are very you are familiar what ship looks like other than that it's a pure business anyone and everyone from any background ba bcom bsc btech anyone they can do brokering and chartering and you'll be surprised to know there's actually no criteria educational criteria for somebody who wants to make a career in commercial operations there is no criteria even a 12th pass can do that but thing is that what is needed is that somebody who is sitting at the desk should have a good knowledge about that so that will come first with academic background and second with proper training yes now once you have done that you start working in a company the most important aspect in shipping is contacts the better contacts you are the better connected you are with people the better business you can do for the company or for your own so you make lots and lots of contact you are very well connected you do good business for them you give them good advice you are helping them to make money that's how you can transit between education job and then starting your own business wow what an insight and i really appreciate what you're saying uh the next video will be on the best colleges which are required for ship charting and ship broking and one thing i would just want to add another thing is you said earlier also that means since technical shipping has got no uh, link with the commercial so that means even when you were a captain and you were 
doing got into this commercial shipping you started from scratch again absolutely so I, I started as a credit yes i started that was as a real credit. challenge yes yes i started from scratch in that first thing that i was told was that keep your captain's ego out of that door when you are coming inside come as a fresher come as a trainee guy and that's how why i'm sitting in front of you because i have to surrender my ego for that that's that's what is important bhai that this is a great insight and other videos will keep coming thank you very much jai hind jai bharat jai mata di i hope you like this video and if you want to know more about ship chartering and ship broking what are you waiting for please enroll up for this free course of ours where where you can find all the information about ship chartering and ship broking and yes if some information is missing do share it with us what information do you need and we'll be coming up with a separate video as well enroll for this course get all the information the link is in the description box as well as in the comment section jai hind jai bharat jai mata di let us make well informed decisions take care bye